Okay, one little issue on the uh, instructions for assembly comes to section 2-4 in the setup, preparing the mast. See that one little there, that piece right there with that little knob sticking out? That is this piece here. On section 2-9, that's what that's for. That's what that is. So when it says prepare the bolts, you have to skip ahead to figure out how this goes together here. Okay, it's already running. So just uh, back up, get me a full frame. Oh, on that side. Okay, first start of the Subaru nine horse engine. I have the choke on. Fuel on, switch on. Brand new engine. That needs needs to warm up or a little more choke. Combination blade belt tensioner to engage the blade and the throttle. Okay, it still needs to be warmed up. Does not like give slamming on the throttle. You got to ease into it. I'll do that experiment. Now ease into it.
There, that's all it takes. Remember, don't slam on the throttle, otherwise it's gonna die. You just ease into it, it'll speed the throttle just a little bit. And be before the blade engages, that's what it seems to do. Okay. And just a few parts missing. The hose and the water drip valve are missing, so I'll have to get that from Timbery. Call them on Monday. I have no idea where they are. I had to look through all the parts, look through all the look through the van, looked in the water tank. I have no idea what no idea where they are, so I'll have to get those parts. Otherwise it's just a few odds and ends. Get the lift cable uh tightened it, you know, that cinch down, adjust it to make the blade and the saw head parallel to the frame to the log bed get the height stick on the uh no oh, what what'd you call the what are these rails called again here catch rails these catch rails are almost done all the squaring post sockets are all uh, squared up as best as we can without having precision instruments so yeah maybe tomorrow i'll be able to uh, rig up a uh water valve if i can find the parts from the hardware store just to rig something up but otherwise i'll just uh, run the blade dry on a couple of uh on a log if i can get one up here and then get that footage on one little minor hiccup uh these uh catch rails are bowed up just a little bit you see it catches right there and every one of these in the middle has a high spot. It pushes along smooth and easy, and then it catches. Nice and smooth. For some reason, that one's the unusual one. That one's fine. And then this one, it catches again. You need to push a little more. So, once you get that figured out, it'll be fine. Pushing it backwards, it was going fine all the way. That's weird. Maybe it's the direction of the force as it's being applied. Oh, it goes fine until it gets to the end. And do it one more time. Oh, it catched a, caught a little bit there. And maybe as it wears in, it'll uh, fix itself. All right, you got the headlights going from the van. Uh, a friend of mine, he helped me finish this up. We got it adjusted. The uh, Got the blade height to the bunk centered at about inch and a quarter. Got this set right at top of this at an inch and a quarter. So that, that seems to be adjusted perfect. We just happened to just uh, hold this in place, just, just generically, just held it in place, bolted it down. Did not adjust this, this uh, bolt. All I had to do was adjust that one to get the blade parallel. And that was a lucky guess on, on uh, putting his height stick at that height. Don't have to calibrate that. So that's done. Squaring post uh, holders are all squared up as accurate as we can get it without micrometers. And uh, look forward to uh, n the next video coming up on this sawmill will be a log on there and it's not going to be much of a log i can't i'm not going to do much cutting because the blade drip uh, parts are missing i looked all over in the van don't see it uh so gonna have to get the those parts ordered up and uh so i can do a proper sawing job you know and not get the blade all gooked up so